Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Switzerland's press conference. And hello to the viewers watching us online. I'm Katharina Rolf Stotter Jansen, one of the moderators here at the press center. So now, please give Rekka a warm hand. Hello, Rekka. Great to see you. Take a seat. You got, you got stock somewhere? Oh, yeah. oh dear. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. So congratulations. A great rehearsal. Thank you. Yes. You look happy and content. I guess you are, huh? Yeah. Uh, anything you want to comment on, on the rehearsal? Oh, it was just, it was amazing to be on the stage again. And your colleagues, Eva and, and uh, Reto, what would you like to add on the uh, rehearsal today? It was a really good rehearsal. Um, we're going to work on the LED content and on the light a little bit, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. You agree? Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. So, Rekka, um, today on stage, you, uh, your outfit was as extraordinary as always, but your hair was different. Yeah. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, we just wanted to take the opportunity um, just to play with the hair and try something different. So now we all wonder what's going to be on the semifinal. Mm. <laughs> you won't let us know, huh? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. Maybe, maybe we'll do a hand up. Who wants the curly? Who wants the straight? No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's uh, take some questions from uh, the audience now. Up here. Hi, I'm Kasper Veltenaar from Eurovision Artist in the Netherlands. I read that you traveled through Asia for a couple of months, 10 years ago, and I wonder how did that influence you? Thank you. Thanks. Um, well, I had my guitar with me the whole time, and I was writing songs. And before I had left, I, I recorded half of, half of an album. So when I came back, I, rec I finished the album with all of the songs that I wrote in Asia. and. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. I took some lessons in, in India. I took uh, some singing lessons there, and I took uh, some gamelan lessons in Bali. So it was really amazing. <laughs> lots and lots of experiences to write about. Thank you. Thanks. Question from the gentleman here, please. Thank you. Hello, Rika. I'm Ahmed Halloum from ESCBubble.com. I want to know about you and social media because I can see that you're uh, pretty active on them. And as you know, there's always good and bad things to read. How do you manage the good and the bad things to don't influence you or how you let them influence you in your performances and your daily basis? Thank you very much. Uh, I pretty much just try to focus on positive and do what I do and just, I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not really so valuable for me to read a lot of bad stuff because it kind of brings me down and I just decided that I just wouldn't read, wouldn't read them anymore. <laughs> and it's been great. I'm, I'm happy just doing whatever I want. <laughs> It works out much better that way. <laughs> okay, thank you. More questions? Hey, Reika. Hey. Konstantin from Blog in Germany. Um, we've followed you on the blog over time since October, since the videos came out, and you were one of our very early favorites. So also, while researching, we also checked your earlier material. So there is a visible change from the way you were presenting yourself before, like darker, more independent looking, you know. Um, and then this, uh, this change to this more softer image, you had those experiments with your look. Uh, right until today. So was this a conscious decision to change your look for the Eurovision um, stage? Or where did that come from? I feel like I'm always evolving and it's, I just like to play. So I kind of let myself be free to, to do everything that I want to do. And I, 
I mean, I feel like my image as Rika is that, is that I'm allowed to do whatever I want. <laughs> and I don't really like to restrict it. So, yeah. Thank you. Do you yes. think this, this uh, quality can inspire other people to do the same? To experiment and sort of be, be who they really want to be at that moment? Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. I have fun. <laughs> and you, how, would you, how would you explain your foremost characteristic as an artist? I mean, you sort of reinvented yourself a while ago and came, came back as Rika. Uh, if you, where do you get your inspiration? What does that come from? Is it nature or is it uh, uh, hard work? Where, what is your characteristic from? I feel like it changes as well. Um, I wrote my whole last album was from was really inspired by nature, and I wrote the whole thing from like animal perspective, and it was really kind of like artsy. Um, but yeah, it it really changes. It changes over time. I used to write songs about my problems. Uh, it was like a, I think the Straight Line album before that. I wrote it as Christina Maria, and it was like really solving my problems. And yeah, I think I, it, I, it changes a little bit. More questions? Then I'd like to ask, back home, maybe you have two homes, Switzerland and Canada. I do. Uh, how, how do they follow you in Canada, in Canada right now? Do you know? I mean, they won't be able to see the broadcast they, unless they travel across the United States, which they might if they die hard fans, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but how do they follow you in, in Canada? In Canada, I, I think through social media, just through on YouTube and everything. But it's, it's a bigger, obviously it's a bigger thing. You have more fans in Switzerland than yeah. you have in Canada. Mm. Yeah, it feels so good to be supported by, by two countries. <laughs> Both countries, yeah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, um, about speculations about uh, your chances, I mean, would you like to go into that? How do you how, how do you feel where where you could you be possibly ending up in the in the lineup after well, the voting? I, I mean, for me, I can focus on what I have control over, which is like how I feel. I hope, and how how well I can I sing. So that's what I what I like to focus on because mm. that's what I, that's my job. That's your job. <laughs> Everyone okay. else's job is to is to vote. So, <laughs> any comments from your team from Maretto and Eva about the chances? No comments on that. It's just, do your best. Yeah. Well, that's always a good, good, good attitude, huh? Um, about about your vision as a as a contest. What do you think it means to Europe? What does the contest mean to the people of Europe? I think it really brings everyone together. It's definitely, I've met so many amazing people, and it's just it's so beautiful how how it brings everyone together like that. And how do you feel it when you're here, with the people here and in, in the green room or whatever, all the places you, you walk around here in the globe? How do you feel the European community? I feel so good. I feel so comfortable and so happy. And I have such nice, strong connections with, with some people, and it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Any special friends amongst the artists? Uh, yeah, I love Hovi, Hovi Star. He's being a really great friend, mm -hmm. and also, also Michal mm -hmm. from Poland, mm -hmm. really, yeah. If you could sing a duet with any of the uh, mm -hmm. people here, not in this room, but... In the well, this room! <laughs> <laughs> Who would that be? <laughs> I'm sure there would be many takers here, like, pass up. Yeah. So um, who would that be? What artist would that be? Uh, maybe Calliope. Ah. I love her voice. Ah. Yeah. And what would you sing? A ballad or a more um, rocky I don't song? know. We'd have to discuss that. We have to discuss that. Yeah. That's, 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 that's for after the shows. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Raika. I'd like to finish off because I know you're sort of in a hurry to, to proceed to your next, next um, obligations. There's money obligations for the artists. But I'd like you to address your fans in that camera back there because this will be able to be viewed on Eurovision.tv. Oh, cool. So what would you like to say to your fans? I love you. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> So well, much love. <laughs> thank you, Raika. Thank, thank you. you so much. And it's now time for some photos up against the photo wall. Okay. And best of luck. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Thanks, you. everybody.